Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today, we're going to talk about Pan. So the Pan tool is the tool by which you take your 3D model and you move it back and forth or up and down, uh, basically moving perpendicular to it like this, as opposed to orbit where you're spinning around like this, or zoom where you're moving in and out. So a different way to... Uh, to actually get in and look at your model. And because it's SketchUp for iPad, there's a handful of different ways to do that. So we're gonna take a look at all of them right now. Okay, so first off, there is a pan command. It's, it's you're not gonna find it here on the tool, the main toolbar, not, not the default toolbar when you come in. You do have to hit the little ellipse down at the bottom to get to it. It's part of this bottom block down here at the bottom. These are all your zoom commands right here, or view commands. And the second one right here is pan. If you click on pan, uh, with the pencil, it's pretty simple. Regardless of if you're in just draw mode or click, move, click, you're just going to click on the screen and move that point. You can see it's, it's, I mean, it is, it is, is changing perspective. So it's not simple, like 2d move. It is moving the camera up, down, left, and right. So it's changing perspective. You can see I'm looking, I can see higher up on this than I saw before. So it is moving everything around in perspective, but it's not spinning it. The, the axes are staying in the same orientation as I move. And that's what pan does as opposed to orbit. I'm also not getting any closer. So if I drag down, I'm not, it's the same, everything's staying the same distance away from me uh, as I do that pan. If you are in the pan move, using touch is exactly the same as pencil. I just put my finger on the screen and that becomes basically a handle to move in 3D space, panning around there. And guess what? The mouse works exactly the same way. If I'm in pan, I just left click and move around. Very, 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 very simple. So there is some, if you are an existing SketchUp user, you may be in the habit of holding down the middle mouse button plus a modifier key on your keyboard to move. I, unfortunately, if you don't have a keyboard, that doesn't work here. So the middle mouse button, the scroll wheel still works to zoom and orbit, but without a keyboard, pan is kind of left out in the cold. So you can't pan with this button unless, you know, you got that keyboard set up. The other thing to point out is pan can be used without going into the command. This is, of course, one of the nice things about navigating in SketchUp is you have the ability to move in this 3D space while you are drawing. So if I'm over here and I'm in the draw mode, right? And I'm, I'm in here working to draw and maybe, maybe I'm, you know, over to the side like this. And I want to move without having to go into the pan command. If you just put two fingers on the screen, you basically grab those points as your pan handle or a handle for your pan. So it doesn't matter what, what two fingers. So as, as if I'm sitting here, I tend to hold my, my pencil kind of like this. So putting these two middle fingers kind of works for me, or you can just go like that. And as I'm still holding the pencil, I'm switch right over. I'm ready to go input again. So that's kind of a nice way to do it. Again, it's up to you. It's what you're used to. If you really like using the pan command, you can always add it to the default toolbar or just click on it again when you're down here to move around. But uh, yeah, pan's a great command, super easy to use. And there's a number of ways to get to it on SketchUp for iPad. Uh, if you already are using Pan, then that was probably, you already figured all that out. Uh, if you aren't using it, it is a great way to move around, especially if you're zoomed in and you just need to kind of scoot over. What a lot of us do is they we kind of like uh, zoom in, zoom out, or zoom out, zoom in to, to Pan. That's what I did for years and years, was like, I need to be looking at this point over here. So I would zoom out from here and then zoom back in on the second point and basically effectively pan but using the actual pan command is just way easier to drag so um i know that was a quick one but it was simple and it was everything i can think of about that specific tool i can't think of anything else to add to how to pan i think we we covered everything it was comprehensive good good word to, to describe uh, so if you like that video, go click like down below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here to be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, leave us a comment down below. Do you use Pan in your workflow? Um, if not, what do you do? Do you just zoom out, zoom in? Do you 
use Orbit somehow, uh, let us know. I like making these videos a lot. I like them even more when it's showing something you want to see. Thank you.